Lizard people are supposed to be shape-shifting, humanoid, reptilian aliens, who are allegedly attempting to control Earth by taking on human form to manipulate human societies using their influence and political power. Lizard people are also known as reptoids, reptilian, reptiloids, saurians, or draconians. But who are these lizard people? Some researchers believe that they were shape-shifting extraterrestrials who are here to control humanity. In his book published in 1976, Russian-American author Zakaria Sitchin claimed that an advanced humanoid extraterrestrial species from the undiscovered planet Nibiru came to Earth around 500,000 years ago. He speculates that after their arrival, they created hybrids between primitive humans and their own species with the intent to enslave humanity. He identifies these alien creatures as the Anunnaki. But who exactly were the Anunnaki? According to Wikipedia.com, the Anunnaki are a group of deities of the ancient Sumerians, Akkadians, Assyrians, and Babylonians. In the earliest Sumerian writings about them, the Anunnaki are the most powerful deities in the pantheon. They are descendants of An and Ki, the god of the heavens and the goddess of earth, and their primary function was to decree the fates of humanity. Some of the oldest references of lizard-like humans come from the pre-Sumerian Ubaid period that extended from 6500 through 3800 BC. During the excavation of an archaeological site in Tel al -Abaid, some unique clay figurines were found. These figurines depict humanoid figures with lizard characteristics. In the 1940s, Maurice Doriel, head of the Brotherhood of the White Temple, an occult fraternity headquartered in Sedalia, Colorado, wrote a pamphlet entitled Mysteries of the Gobi that described a serpent race with bodies like man and snake heads with the ability to take human form. It is believed that Sitchin's reptilian theories were inspired by Doriel's work. Sitchin's writings have been universally rejected by mainstream historians who have labeled his books as pseudo-archaeology. In ancient times historical facts and mythology often blended together. It's hard to take ancient references in a literal sense. The Abade clay figurines could just have represented an abstract concept of a divine or mythological creature, and not something real. Does it mean that reptilians don't exist? Not necessarily, but until we get conclusive evidence of their existence, we can't be sure that they actually do exist. Do you believe reptilians are real? Are they controlling us and shaping society? Drop us a line on the comments section.